great. Daddy! Whoa, sweetheart. I'm glad you're home. Don't worry, I'm fine. Oh, your goodness. <laughs> Knew it couldn't be that bad. No way. <sighs> <sighs> Good. Yes. <laughs> Bombs detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. How about it, baby girl? How Not the whole map. Daddy, the whole Train services have concluded for the day. We will be eight on the schedule. I feel like it's been forever since I've eaten. Which is enough. Mm, no words can describe what how bright the flames were. Dumb Plates only had it so good because of the reaction. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like it before. Huh? Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? Huh. <laughs> You're such a kidder. Remember the last time I saw a real one? Huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. As yet, no group has claimed responsibility for the attack, but the group is always entirely... Uh... <laughs> hey! Uh. What the 
hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering Daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was when the Mako chaotic. Exploded, Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was, crazy. It was wrong of I me heard to put you in danger news. like that. Don't you I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. Awesome guy from I'll try Walmart. not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shimmer. Not hmm. good at all. I don't know what it is, but my life feels so, so empty. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. So, seven? The top it wasn't that bad? On themselves. It was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Guess it's time for introductions. Hey, 
You okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Come on, quit lollygagging and go to Seventh Heaven already. You know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <clears throat> Although the next batch probably could, if Jesse put her mind to it. <clears throat> Most every home in the area has one. <clears throat> Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Uh, Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. 
We'll pay you the difference after. And Ferret's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all today. Some creepy dude who hit on you. All the items you could want, straight from the plate. No matter your needs. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to. Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? Nothing particularly fancy. If you change your mind, you know where I am. That goes for you too, Tifa. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. All the items you can want are straight through. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Can't help but take a little pleasure in their panic. More than a little. Apparently it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. There's nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for you. Tifa! My dear, dear girl! Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest to cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. Oh, you said they're gonna step been up here their game. Five years, give or take. Absolutely. But, but never mind that. All, We've got to get you your money. People. Last stop is the weapon Dreams store. Don't start moving again. We're not gonna have enough food and other goods to go around. Hey, if it isn't Tifa, you here for the filter? <laughs> hey, that last filter didn't do shit. We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barrett be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor? Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the Neighborhood Watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. We 
gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head on down there first thing tomorrow. Not alone, you won't. Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the Neighborhood Watch? That depends. What does this Neighborhood Watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the Watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in Gil, but we'll work something out. For example... Aha! What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. <coughs> All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? We don't. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. Barricade's supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare just in case. Here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. There's our first challenge. Show me what you got. I got your number. That's what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm-up. <laughs> okay. Let's keep at it. Deal with that. Let me handle this. There! Ha! in like it was nothing you too it's a little surprising well I've been here five years now if you don't look out for yourself no one else will by the way that one's gonna be on the test this a lesson gotta learn if you're gonna stick around okay let's wrap this up <laughs> <laughs> That might be the last of them. They won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. Doesn't look like a bird. 
so sore. Tally of Monster Slaying has been updated. Got new numbers for Monster Slaying this month. Check them out. What? Everyone here so in Back already? Got every last one, too. Now the slums should be safe. You guys are machines! Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you gotta do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. <sighs> oh. You okay? I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village... <laughs> it's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to rustle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll come too! Oh, uh, no you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Sorry, Go on. maybe <sighs> next time. Her? No fair! Her. Think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. <sighs> Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on, let's go chat up Weimer. Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You never know, could toss some work your way. Where's he at? Oh, he should be back at the office by now. What? Everyone here so in all your skills. They decided That's the guy who ran the monsters off the- You're the aspiring odd jobber, right? I hear you sell swords. Ah, uh, hey there, Tifa. You need a helping hand? Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Cloud. He's a merc. Ah, uh, you don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout for experienced fighters to help us deal with the bigger critters. I'll take on anything. For the right price, that is. Experienced and cocky, huh? If it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. Prove yourself with these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. Thanks. Cloud! You were the first to gather the data I requested. Here is the rest of your payment. I have developed new materia. Would you like to see it? I plan to develop more materia in the future. Together, we can harness enough power to take down Shinra. I'll keep repairing more battle intel reports, which I hope you will assist me in completing. That went well! Could be you found your calling. Eh. Was alright, I guess. Think of each job as an opportunity. Not to make money, but to build connections. It's not what you know, but who. <laughs> you remembered. Not a patient teacher. <laughs> Maybe not so patient next time. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, Barrett should have finished collecting his share of the money by now. So what do you want to do? Head back to the bar? I'm expecting great things from you, my friend. I swear. All the plate side jobs. Lots of pay. Where'd you? Oh, hey there. Uh, is Marlene with you? No. Okay, I was kinda hoping she could help me find my friends. I know someone who can help you. This guy right here. Really? Okay, let me tell you all about them. They have long arms and legs, and they're a little skinny. They like places where there's food. And nice people will give them treats when they ask. And small spaces. Oh yeah, 
And they're all cats. <sighs> I'm looking for cats. They're friendly, so if you call them, they'll come running. All three of them. By my friends, please. What's the source of all love? <laughs> Goods when I get sick of. <laughs> Don't you just love this material? If none of the trains are running, I have. Don't leave your eyes. Did you hear that just now? I think one of Betty's cats might be nearby. Is that like the new thing? Probably so crowded because everyone else. Is All the items you could want straight from the. Aha! The man with the strange. Imagine if rich people start thinking it's You a lover? You a fighter? No worries! We've got anything and everything you can Hey there, Tifa! Welcome back! And you, the new merc in town looking for work, right? Yeah. In that case, maybe you could do something about the Doom Rats? Them and their were rat buddies have been tearing up town looking for food and whatnot. Got into the store and made one hell of a mess. Let me tell you. Oh, you think that's funny, do you? Don't lie. I saw you crack a smile. Well, do the job and you can laugh it up for all I care. Anyway, they're probably nesting in the outskirts. Now I've heard a were-rat in pain will call its friends for help. And the whole rat pack will come running just like that. All the items are Help but take a look. Does anyone hey, really what are you doing in there? I'm trying to get a cat to come out. It snatched one of my pastries and scurried in there. Will you be a deer and lend me a hand? This sucks. of chasing this little guy around. for a shower. No matter your needs or your Finally managed to get those doom rats, huh? Thanks, guys. You're the greatest. I was so dead in here, I thought I might have to close up shop for good. Hey, got an idea. Hear me out. If the guy who took care of the town's rat problem told everybody where he liked to shop, well, what do you say? I'll make it worth your while, of course, give you some incentive, talk you up to Weimer and my customers, and anybody else who listen. You'll be swimming in work before you know it. Yeah, sure. 
<laughs> okay then, that's what I like to hear. Seventh Heaven, the new Merc in town in my little store. I can see it now. We're gonna clean up. A certain shopkeeper told me you paid him a visit. Thanks for helping him out. Just so happens there's another job I'd like to offer you. Now that I know you can handle yourself in a fight, we've got a real killer on the loose, you see. A rabid catch dog. Maybe you've heard people talking about it. Shinra Mutt gone feral. Last sighting was in Scrap Boulevard. Think you're up to it? I'll handle it. You're a lifesaver. Doubt anyone else around here stands a chance. Go get him, bud.
Took care of the dog, did you? Phew, we owe you one. Gotta say, I've never seen a Shinra breed like that before. Out of curiosity, when exactly did it show up? Oh, today. The first reports came in just this morning. Uh, why do you ask? Wait a minute. There's this crazy story about a Shinra research lab hidden right beneath our feet under the slums. Huh. Really? That's news to me. <laughs> and here I thought you might know something I don't. Well, I guess not. It's a big organization. I'm sure there's lots of secrets I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. You got the bastard. That's good enough for me. Let's see what he's made of. Think? That hound had us scared half to death. I'm expecting great things from you, my friend. I didn't do shit! Shut up, punk! Or what, huh? Screw you! What's Come going on? on? Why Somebody you do me like went that? and stole some blast and made it from a you. Shinra warehouse. So public security started asking questions, and you know how Johnny gets. It's because of the reactor bombing, I bet. I could be wrong, but something tells me they're not gonna settle for just roughing him up this time. We've gotta save him, Cloud. Is he Avalanche? No. He doesn't really know what we do, but he has his suspicions, and he's a talker. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should go alone. I'm coming. Uh, are you sure? It's the least I can do. Lead on. <sighs> Thanks. Come on. You could go to jail. We've mm -hmm. had it again. This guy always cool. Citizen of Midgar? Model citizens don't steal blasting agent. So why don't you tell me why your ID popped when we were going over the warehouse laws? Huh? You got it all wrong. I've never thought anywhere near a Shinra warehouse. My ID. <laughs> your ID was never lost, dumbass. We have never gotten you inside a Shinra installation in the first place. I swear, all he had to do was keep his mouth shut. Yep. Anyway, you distract the officers and I'll figure something out. Let him go. Hmm? Who are you? The cavalry? Huh? Is that, is that who I think it is? Hell yeah! You guys really came to save me! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Here we go. It's on you. Okay, oh, let's go! Hang back. It's over. Uh... 
What now? He's a talker. Huh? Whoa, whoa! No! Huh? You're not gonna... Hold up! Wait! Don't, don't do it, man! You wanna live? Then get the hell out of town. You got it, boss! You ain't never gonna see my face again! I swear! Are you sure about this? It's a big risk. I know, but... It's fine. And them? No more. Cloud... You're scaring me. <clears throat> we need to go before they wake up. I... I'm worried about Johnny. I'm more worried about us. We gotta go, right? Right. What? It's just... You've really changed. How? I suppose it's... Yeah. Your eyes. They used to be less... It's the Mako. Soldier, remember? I remember. So... What do you want to do now? Head back to the bar, or do you want to tackle another job or two? I swear I just heard a cat. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Don't rush it and drop Wait, your tools. Did you Take hear that just now? now okay? I think one of Betty's cats might be nearby. so much about. You're not here to shop, are you? People were right. You look like you can handle yourself. So some drakes have made themselves at home in the abandoned Talliger factory. Can't have that kind of trouble around here. My regulars will do anything to get their hands on the scrap in there, and if they run into those drakes, they could get hurt. I'll handle it. Much obliged, sir. Head on over to the old Talliger factory and talk to Narjan. He's the watchman guarding the entrance. Good luck. I'm counting on you, my friend. Shops on Those disgusting vermin deserve money. So I was at the Honey Bee Inn, and I met this incredible girl. Even a tree. He said he was leaving town. What would make him want to leave? You want ah, that was definitely a cat. I've met Eric guy a few times. Looks like a real hard ass, but he's actually pretty chill. <sighs> you can't do it. Tifa's got a neck. On this left side, he wasn't. Who's going to Screw this. Oh. 
What? They ran away? So, we're never gonna see them again? You guys! You came back! They said that a scary man was chasing them. <laughs> Thank you! I'll bet a lot of people are talking about you right now. There's this amazing merc who can handle anything. Nothing I've done around here has been all that special, though. Oh, so you want more of a challenge, huh? I told you. We're getting married and moving topside. You're the boy. I think we could get some more people than usual. If the planets are living in There are monsters on the plate, too. Right? Nope. That's not fair. I'm gonna be so rich. Step back. Factory's off limits. Drakes have been spotted inside. Huh? Wait a minute. Tifa? Don't tell me you're here to take care of those things. Are you? In that case, be my guest. We believe there's at least two groups lurking somewhere inside the factory. Find and cull them all. They're nothing. Compared to us, at least. It's on you. I got this. Take it over. Yeah. Worked up a good sweat. For a shower. Don't hold 
hold back. You got me. Need a light. You're good at this. <laughs> Told you so. Let's end this quick. Not a problem. That's that. Too bad. Take the lead. Okay, let's go. Bring it. There. <laughs> Nothing to it. Got rid of those drakes in the factory, did ya? What a relief. I can't wait to give my regulars the good news. You're the real deal, all right. Keep it up, and I can see you going far as a merc in this town. I've worked with my fair share over the years, so believe me when I say that I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, you're needed over at the pillar. Apparently another flying bastard stirring up trouble. Bet you can't get enough of this, huh? Well... No, I get it. If you're good at something, might as well make it your living. I may not know you, but I know a man who's found his calling when I see one. Keep at it. I switch out my stock every so often, so drop by when you're in the neighborhood, huh? Welcome! I'm always getting in new stuff to keep up with the latest trends. You won't be disappointed. Always a pleasure. Oh. You look into that other gig yet? If you're planning to, might want to buy some extra supplies for... train graveyard, but these two clowns refuse to get up their butts and do anything about it! Hey, is that...? It is you, the new Merc! Then maybe you can help us out! The Drake is in the old Talagher factory over there, but to reach it, you'll need to get a hold of a watch security key. You should be able to find one inside one of the crates. I forget which, just smash them all. The Merc himself. Took up residence nearby.
Let's end this quick. Not a problem. No. Okay, let's go. Would kill for a shower. Let's end this quick. Not a problem. <laughs> it's over. That or that. <laughs> Time to burn. Worked up a good sweat.
Won't be tough. No turning back. I got your number. right man for the job there's no denying you're the real deal not like these idiots with their excuses rather have one of you than 20 of them they're just doing their jobs can't expect them to be at your beck and call what exactly is it you're trying to say Merc you need people who can follow orders too I see now heard you were ex Shinra guess I shouldn't be surprised you'd go to bat for your old buddies me I'm just looking out for my people. All there is to it. Hell with you. We can take care of this town ourselves. No more Mercs or Shinra. We'll build up the watch and kick you all out. Okay then. That's another solid gig in the books. You know, the whole town is really impressed with what you've done. Keep it up and you'll have enough work to keep you fed for a lifetime. All thanks to you. And don't you forget it. So where do we get paid? The shop or something? Yeah, but why don't we head back to the apartments first? Take a quick breather. Which lesson was that again? Lesson one. Got it? Anyway, let's go.
Huh? Someone's back awful early. Not that I mind. Would you two be dears and swap your filters out for me? I left them in your rooms. Sure thing. Not so fast, you. Do me a favor. She needs a friend. A real friend. Uh, we're already friends. So when she talks, are you really listening? Thinking about her and her feelings? Or are you just going through the motions? Go on. Let's take care of this real quick, okay? Sure. Come over when you're done. One sec. I'll be done in a bit. Ah, <sighs> finally. <sighs> so, after you left the village, mm -hmm. I let you off the hook before, back at the hall, but not this time. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Well, when we were kids, everybody wanted to be a soldier, right? Yeah, I remember they were on the news every day during the war. Thing is, by the time I finally made it in, they didn't need heroes anymore. It was nothing like what we dreamt of. It was just working for Shinra. Just... I'm sorry. I know it's a touchy subject. Oh. Not exactly small talk. Especially with someone you haven't seen in a while. I get it. Still, it's kind of funny. Us going our separate ways, thinking that must be it. That we'd never meet again. And then here, of all places, we do. You know what? We should totally celebrate. Let's dress up and hit the town. Really? I mean, why not? It'll be fun. Do you even have fancy clothes? Not like fancy fancy, but I'll figure something out. What do you think would suit me, huh? Something sporty? I don't think that'd be so different from my usual. Be sure to pick an outfit that goes with mine, okay? Will do. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. You'll see. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and on that happy note, I think it's time we head back to the bar. Come on. Uh, you don't need a break? Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. Marl isn't always right, you know.
Hey, Marl. We took care of the filters. So, we're gonna head back to the bar now. Take care, you two. Oh, you're looking pretty chipper. Uh, I don't feel that different. Must be my imagination, then. <laughs> anyway, keep your wits about you, Merc. A token of my appreciation. Be good to her. You'll get no second chances from me. So they blew up the reactor so they could see. Apparently it was done by a Can't help but take a look. Thanks. I'm sure you appreciate it. So, so he's the rat slayer. When's the bar open for business? You keep dying of thirst. And here we are. You must be tired. Same as you, I guess. Could use a little something to take the edge off, right? How about a refreshing cocktail made by yours truly that you can sit back and savor? Tifa. Yeah, I'm feeling it a bit too. Hey, do you think you'll stick around a little longer? <sighs> Maybe. Work for a minute, build up some savings. I see. So, what'll it be? Want to head back out for a little while? Yeah, why not? Well, you want to head inside? We're back. Did you have fun? <laughs> Lots of fun. Hey, need y'all downstairs. Uh, right now? Then the plan is... Marlene, wanna go wait for Jesse out front? Okay. <sighs> Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night then. Gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay... You'll get your money. So sit down and shut up until we're finished. Double time, Tifa. <sighs> I'm really sorry, but it shouldn't take much longer. In the meantime... <laughs> Grab a seat. What'll it be? I don't know. Something hard and bitter. say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, uh, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case... Our house special, the Cosmo Canyon. Beautiful. I gotta go. Uh, enjoy. Huh? Hey, you see the news? The reactor bombing was the work of the eco-extremist group Avalanche. Public enemy number one. Gets your heart racing, doesn't it? They don't know our faces, so we're in the clear for now. But we'll want to capitalize on this momentum. Speaking of which, you coming on the next one? For the right price. Oh, you can bet I'll be pushing hard for a raise. <sighs> Tifa will be joining us too, but I don't know. Even a blind man can see her heart's not in it. She was never on board with the bombings. So if it comes down to do or die... If I've got to put my life in someone else's hands, then... 
I'd rather that someone was a professional, like you. You could still kill some time. The real deal, huh? Maybe just chill a bit.
heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. If it feels wrong, don't do it. kick you out we agreed to disagree so you want another drink Tifa time to celebrate break out all the good stuff oh sure <clears throat> we won't be needing you for this next job feel free to look for work elsewhere fine by me that's how I like it no contract no obligation. Figured you'd say that. Here, the rest of your payment, along with a little extra for your exemplary service. And thus concludes our business. Gonna have to ask you to leave now. This here's a private affair. Sorry. I tried. We talked it over, but... In the end... We didn't want to put so much on you. This is our fight. Jesse, what's the holdup? <laughs> Be right there! No hard feelings, huh? It's fine. Let's talk more after I'm done here, okay? Really, it's fine. Come on, Jesse, I'm dying here! Catch you later. <sighs> Sorry to keep you thirsty boys waiting. Avalanche! <laughs> <sighs> that hit the spot. Damn, Biggs. Slow down. Can't expect anyone but a true believer to stand tall if everything goes sideways. Oh, my bad. Continue. Keep it tight. Sorry. Boss man wasn't having it. Oh, my bad. Continue. More reason to... Could get pretty dicey out there. Oh, my bad. Continue. Yep. Best way to clear your head so you can focus when it counts. It's been too long. Bet you could use a bite to eat too, huh? Uh... Where were we? Not since we went on that all-night bender after HQ gave us the boot. But he was afraid we'd lean on you too much if we took you along. So, where'd we leave off? They did not give us the boot. It was an amicable- Don't take this the wrong way, but right now, I need to spend time with the gang. Sorry, you were saying? Uh, just- When the job's done, we're done. Your words. Okay, what were we talking about? Can't believe it's already been a year. I don't know how we managed. Well, I do. It was you guys going above and beyond. What's up with them? Word is he lives in this town. Just shut up and wait. We'll find him soon enough. Man! Seems like the boss always gives us the most shit. Hey, brother. You from around the way? I guess. No big man with a big gun strapped to his right arm? Heard he set up shop somewhere in the neighborhood. That depends. Ah. <laughs> Clever. Smell an opportunity to make some scratch to you. 500. 200. Mm, three. Whatever, man. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Walk with me. Hey, Got something to what? say? Ah! You looking at me? Move. Look at all these assholes staring at us. This shithole's got nothing on Walmart. Am I right? 
no, no. Word of advice, it. Blondie. Don't boss, piss off my friend here. Man. You'll be real sorry. Unless you got some kind of death wish, then be my guest. <laughs> After you, brother. Don't worry. I ain't the backstabbing type. Most days. Spill it! You know where the bastard's hiding, don't you? I told you before. That depends. Oh, yeah? You wasted my time! Shinra's time, you mean? <laughs> Shinra knows better than to stick its nose in my boss's business. Like I give a shit. <laughs> Best do it right. <laughs> Big man with a big gun for an arm, right? So if they weren't Shinra, then... Not my problem. Lesson one for life on the ground floor. Get some rest. Empty room at Stargazer Heights, but someone beat me to it. There's this one weirdo who lives there too. Hmm. Looking good. Just imagine if rich people. My husband decided to. Nothing to report. can talk in private? Guess I'll get right to the point then. Huh. What have you got there? An apology for not getting you on the mission. Uh. Or not. What do you think it is? A proposition. Nailed it in one. Gonna have to ask you to keep all this a secret from the others, though. It's a personal matter. Something I need to sort out tonight. Tonight? Tonight. You and me, together. I want you to come with me to the Sector 7 plate. I'll give you the details on the way. That's fine by me, but don't you have a pretty big day ahead of you? I do, but... If I don't deal with this now, it's only gonna get harder. Anyway, I can count on you, can't I? Hmm. Oh. A down payment. Doubt we'll be back before morning, in case you were planning on travel. You all set? Take all the time you need. Nothing a woman likes more than being kept waiting. But seriously, get your ass in gear already!
You all set? Awesome. Meet me at the station after dark. Don't be late. <laughs> it's just another job. <laughs> 